So whenever I have to get an antivirus to protect my devices and make sure that they're secure, there are two big options that come to mind, which are Kaspersky and Bitdefender. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so even if Kaspersky and Bitdefender are both leading antivirus providers, it is still worth comparing them to see exactly which one is more suitable for your needs. So in this video, I'll talk about their cybersecurity features, how well they perform, if they're user-friendly, what features they offer, as well as plans and pricing, which I hope will give you a better idea when it comes to choosing the one that suits your needs. And if at any point you decide to try either of these antiviruses, check out the affiliate links that are down in the description. They don't cost you anything and you'll get a bit of a discount which you wouldn't get if you went directly to either of their websites okay so without further ado let's get started firstly let's talk about what features these two antiviruses bring to the table so both kaspersky and bitdefender have comparable security features including protection against malware and online threats secure browsing on public wi-fi networks and blocking unauthorized access to your microphone and webcam additionally bitdefender offers a special feature called rescue environment that allows you to perform a full scan of your pc without fully booting the operating system unlike kaspersky rescue disk feature, which requires a CD or USB drive and is less convenient to use. Now, one of Bitdefender's advantages over Kaspersky is the profiles feature, which adjusts the amount of resources used by the antivirus depending on your activity. For example, it'll lower consumption if you play a game or increase it if the PC is on standby. Kaspersky offers a privacy cleaner feature that you can use to erase all trace of your device activity, which can be helpful if you lend or sell your device to someone else. However, Bitdefender seems to be a better choice in terms of practicality. So profiles are more practical for daily use compared to a privacy cleaner, and they can make a significant difference as well. However, having more security features does not necessarily mean better protection. Bitdefender has a slight but negligible advantage with a malware protection rate of 99.9% compared to Kaspersky's 99.5%, but the difference is so small, I really, really wouldn't focus too much about it. Okay, so when it comes to plans and pricing, Kaspersky offers three home security plans, the standard plan, the plus plan, and the premium plan and starting with the standard plan. It costs $32 per year for one device and includes real-time antivirus, anti-malware, and anti-ransomware protection, safe web browsing, performance optimization, device space cleanup, app management, and a two-way firewall. Now, their plus plan priced at $45 per year includes everything the standard plan offers, but also adds unlimited super fast VPN service, password manager, data leak checker, and a password safety check. Now, moving on to their premium plan. For $72 a year, you get all the features from the plus plan, along with 24-7 remote IT support, expert virus check and removal, smart home monitor, identity protection wallet, and one year of Kaspersky Safe Kids, which is their parental control option. Let's move on to Bitdefender. And here's what's different about Bitdefender. They offer a really wide range of solutions when it comes to device security. And starting with their most affordable plan, the Antivirus Plus, costs just 30 bucks and offers protection for up to three devices for a year, but only works on Windows PCs. Next is the Security Plan, which offers features like a privacy firewall and webcam and microphone protection, plus a secure VPN for up to 200 megabytes per day for one device and cost 42 and a half bucks per year. And the next three plans I'm going to cover offer more features, but at the same time are more expensive and might not be needed by a single user or a smaller family. Their total security plan costs 50 bucks for the first year, covers up to five devices and features real-time data protection, multi-layer ransomware protection, anti-phishing and anti-fraud softwares. Moving on to the family pack, this plan extends protection to 15 devices, which makes it ideal for a larger household. It costs 60 bucks for the first year and includes parental controls and device location tracking. Now, their small office security plan, it's designed for up to 10 devices in small business environments and costs 270 bucks for the first year. The plan includes advanced threat defense, a VPN, and 24-7 support. So Bitdefender offers these plans with support for multiple platforms such as Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android. Okay, so for this particular test, I intentionally downloaded various types of malware onto my computer, and each one of these malwares can cause significant problems on their own, but having them all on my computer at once was concerning to say the least. But but both Bitdefender and Kaspersky were able to handle the task at hand as I ran a deep scan and watched each antivirus successfully eliminate the malware. And despite a slight difference between Kaspersky and Bitdefender, that didn't affect the outcome of the test. However, if these scans cause your computer to freeze and prevent you from performing other tasks, it is problematic. Now, in terms of performance, Bitdefender has a profile feature, but that does not necessarily mean its basic intake is low. My tests showed that Bitdefender's full scan used 66% of my processor, which is over twice the 32% 
100% usage of Kaspersky. Bitdefender also claimed 38% of my 16 gigs of RAM during its full scan, while Kaspersky only needed 16%. Bitdefender performs better in the background and reduces resource consumption during heavier usage, but its full scan can still heavily impact system performance. Meanwhile, Kaspersky's scan is less demanding, but its overall performance outside of scanning is not as optimized. However, Kaspersky's app is more complicated and it takes longer to navigate through menus to access specific features. Keep in mind that the choice ultimately depends on your performance. And lastly, both Bitdefender and Kaspersky offer customer support through email, phone, or 24-7 live chat, making it a tie between them, though Bitdefender does have more affordable entry-level plans. On top of that, Bitdefender has an official forum, which you can use in case you have more questions about their features and acts as a source of information on pressing issues with just the ability to search. Okay, so I've spent a considerable amount of time comparing the user-friendliness of both antiviruses, and I found that it's pretty difficult to see which one is better, since it ultimately comes down to personal preference and budget. However, I do find Bitdefender's design more appealing due to its intuitive layout of features, detailed explanations, and quick adaptations to the primary features. Plus, if you only need protection for up to three Windows devices, it offers the most affordable entry-level plan. In the end, the choice depends on you and your preferences and needs. Okay, so that's it for this video. And again, if you do decide to try either Kaspersky or Bitdefender, check out the affiliate links that are down in the description. They don't cost you anything and you even get discounts, which you wouldn't get if you went directly to either of their websites and feel free to comment below if you guys have any questions i really like getting to interact with you guys and learn what you want to hear and see in the next videos and like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or if you'd like to stay up to date with future videos guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video